Hey everybody, Excalibur here, and before we get to the unboxing, I just wanted to give a shout out to my friend Bill, who became a patron the other day. Thank you very much for your support, man. It really means a lot. Hey everybody, Excalibur here, and I have got another unboxing for you. This one is also from Monty Cook Games. It's from the Story Please No Thank You Evil campaign that just recently started shipping everywhere. I got my PDF notification, and then... I got my physical notification. Here it is. Uh oh, monsters, adventures, and creatures for No Thank You Evil by Shauna Germain. Uh, published, of course, by Monty Cooks. Monty Cook Games, not Monty Cooks. So, um, this is for ages 5 to infinity. So, those 99 year old people who are usually marked out, you know, like 3 to 99, they can actually play 2 to 5 players and 30 minutes to as long as you'd like. That is, uh, generally, I think even Story Please has that. Yep, same thing. So this is an expansion to No Thank You Evil, which I have over here. I still have to unbox that. It's not a Kickstarter, um, but I might just do a, a video on that. Let's get the knife of face maiming and get the plastic sliced here. Oh, boy. Now, this was supposed to come with a bunch of extras, and... I do not remember what they are right off the bat. So let's go ahead and open up this box and see what we have. I'm going to set it right here. It's a little bit larger box than I anticipated it would be. But we'll see exactly what we have. So there's the box cover. We'll set this over here out of the way. Oh yeah, it's really out of the way. So the very first that we pull out is... Claws and Paws, The Monsters You'll Meet, No Thank You Evil. And inside here, it's full color art, and of course some cute monsters and stuff like that. We have our table of contents, and it's got a, a bunch of stuff. Here we are, we got the Discover Creatures, and in the Discover Creatures we have all these new monsters and stuff, like the Flummox. And the furry toothed fairy penguin, and a couple other things. Uh, <laughs> the fairy tooth fairy pe the furry tooth fairy penguin. Yep, that some interesting monsters. We have a snore gnome, and a bunch of others. I'll let you guys discover that. And then we have some player handouts. Um, so here we go. I, this looks like a size chart one kid high and then three kids high and it shows the size of all the monsters and on the very last page we have player handouts it's monster museum and i believe this it's a sawtooth witch but you've got a blank one down at the bottom this is a, a sample and then this lets you make more so you can photocopy this and make more monsters for your game Let's get this up here. Yeah, that'll be fine. Next one, we have Layers and Scares. Let's go on Wild Adventures. And again, it's nice and full color on the inside here. We've got Table of Contents. And let's see here, we've got Intro, then we save the Holiday, Icebreakers, Trouble in Space, Enter the Fear Factory. So there's our, our fourth one. And Player Handouts. So we'll just go through and we'll show a couple of these pages. You can pause and read them if you really want to, but the thing is, these are all adventures. They should be secret until um, you play the game. And then there are some handouts in the back. So you have some tiles and stuff like that and a whole bunch of other things. So that is pretty cool. I like the handouts. Um, we got standees. It looks like we've got three, four, eight standees. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, nine standees. That's very nice. And we have some monster cards. So let's go ahead and find the tab. We'll open it up and see what's inside. It looks like these are monster cards that are going to show the monsters and let you like 
um, have a visual representation for the kids and stuff like that. Let's get this down in the garbage. We don't need it there. These are nice. Looks like tarot sized cards. Do I have my tarot sleeves here? Yes, I do. They look like they might fit. Let me just take a look at the sleeve here really quick. So, one sleeve. And see how well they fit. Oh, that's a perfect fit. Quite perfect, actually. So, by the way, these are um, MDG 7152, which are 70 by 120 millimeter. These are standards. Um, because uh, you can tell <laughs> they're just a little a little more flexible. But on the front, you've got a picture of the monster. And on the back, you have all the stats. And this is the same for a bunch of monsters. They've got um, different backs and colors. It's a green Yeti. Is that a blue Yeti? Yep, blue Mountain Bigfoot. A mean, green, clean Yeti. Great Scott Yeti. We'll go through a couple more. So here we have... Uh, the worm fuzzle and oh this is a cute one this is a wor wool peartinger wool peartinger yep wool peartinger and let's go halfway through and that's a nimble lynx and halfway through again oh wow this is a cacophony this is a flummox so we'll hold that up close Oh, there we go. It's got like a bunch of different things. Oh, all right. I got. I got to see what these guys are. These are flummadiddle, and all these monsters are cute. Well, oh, that's kind of scary-ish. It's like <laughs> that's a caddy wumpus. Yeah. Uh oh. Rabbit ninjas? Nope. It's bunny foo. So a whole bunch of different little monsters. And then, of course, we've got this uh, um, M Bracer. So a whole stack of cards just for your monster pleasure. And on, on top of that, we have standees. Cardboard standees for each and every monster, it looks like. So that's one. Uh, oh, 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 oh. There we go. And two, there we are. These these are really popping out very easily. So um, the cuts were done very, very, very nicely with some sharp blades. So those are all the monsters that are in the deck. And then we have, what are these? Detectives? It looks like you can probably cut these out. So you get detectives. And then we've got a Halloween special delivery two from Pumpkin Palace Halloween headquarters. Horrible news! Someone has kidnapped Mr. Jack O' Lantern. And let me just turn this guy down. We do not need my phone ringing in the middle of this. Um, we have case details cheat sheets. And let's see here, what is this? This is a last bum spell. Lazy bum spell, not last. I'm reading this backwards from the other side of this. So it's a lazy bum spell. These, I think, are um, handouts or player aids. They're very nice. Very, very nice. I almost thought they were iron-on transfers. And then here's, looks like a spaceship. So, yep, here's the player spaceship. And here is um, the, D, the GMs. Which shows like the greenhouse and uh, the med bay and entryway and stuff like that. And then we have this some logic puzzles. And then we have some more maps for like old cabins and houses and even a map with secret sewer tunnels. Oof. That's pretty cool. These are really cool. Reminds me of the old um, AD&D box sets. 
and then we've got more of the handouts so we've got the stolen and lost we've got a wanted poster and we've got a rescue poster and then we have a reward poster and a trapped poster and then finally we have the monster museum that has a description and cool facts and a place for its name and its picture so that is a lot a lot a lot of stuff for this box set now I don't know if some of this is meant to be the wall art or not it could be now I really like the trap one I think that's a pretty cool poster so I'm gonna have to take a look at the campaign and see exactly what's what and who's who in this um, but there is a lot of stuff in here I am really surprised at the quality of the books and the color and everything Kickstarter campaigns are really awesome because you get higher quality stuff than if you just buy it right off the shelf without knowing anything about it your those who backed actually made this the the set it is so this has been uh oh monsters adventures and creatures for no thank you evil by Shauna Germain published by Monty Cook Games please like comment and subscribe as always, this is Excalibur, and I am out.